and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide today. I'll be going over the Saturday Legends. So, as you guys know, Friday, yesterday was the last day of the Mutt 10 limited time promo. So, I'm hoping you guys are ready at this point. Oh, that is. It was a 10 week program where every week you played one solo challenge, got one token, and if you collected all 10 tokens from the limited time players that ranged from 91 to 93, you essentially got one free fantasy pack yesterday. Now, that did replace all these weeks worth of limited time legends, if you guys know what I mean. So, like, pretty much every Madden every year is like every Saturday there's two set legends and then one limited time legend. But that Mutt Tam replaced that limited time legend released on a Friday. So, essentially, they had been taking half of the Saturday Legends and putting it in Friday. So with that now being done, I'm curious to see if they're not if they're going to keep doing some cool Legend thing on Fridays, or if they're going to revert Legends back to Saturdays, which in that case would make these Legend content videos a lot cooler than they are already, obviously. Now, today's Legends are pretty, pretty cool. I like one of them specifically, and the other one's cool, but people have some criticism about this one. So I'll go into all that in detail as we get into the video. I'm going to run it over on Twitter. I'm obviously recording this very early for time constraint reasons. Now. In my personal opinion, it's a cornerback and a left guard. You guys probably see by the title, but I like to really get into detail on this. So as far as cornerbacks go, I don't think the game really needed another cornerback, quite honestly. I think that we've had plenty of cornerbacks in Madden already, uh, especially we got Pat Pete as of late. We have Dion. We just got Palomal, which is a secondary guy. We just got um, Denzel Ward. We, we have so many good cornerbacks right now. I currently have my Jalen Ramsey, but... The other guy being a left guard, kind of usable. We only ever did Bruce Matthews, so I could, I'll definitely use left guard. Now, if you guys already know at this point, it's Ty Law and Gene Upshaw. Gene Upshaw, awesome left guard. Super hype, honestly, about that. I just hope his price isn't too much. And then Ty Law is good, but a lot of you guys probably have him for free, although I think most people probably took Shazier. So I, that's kind of like a legend draw for all the people who didn't take Ty Law, which shouldn't honestly be that many. Now, let's head over to Twitter in just a second, guys. Before we do, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell. If you're new to the channel, you guys won't regret it. Come join the family. We're this close to 11K. And then let's keep grinding out to 20K and keep growing the family. Comment down below what you guys think of these two legend pieces, which you obviously see them are legend, legend sets, masters, whatever you want to call them. And if you haven't already, go down below, hit that like button, boys. Thank you so much for all the crazy support as of late. Smash the like button on uh, kind of the legend content video. All the loyal OG supporters. Make sure to smash it up. Let's get it to about 150 likes. Now, let's head over to Twitter to go check out the actual legends and their stats. So, the first legend, like I said, is Gene Upshaw. Now, guys, I don't know how long you guys haven't played Madden in. I mean, I don't know if he was in recent games, but the last time I really remember, like, Upshaw being a prominent card, for me, like, my own personal memory, was, like, Madden 13 around then. Obviously, he's been in the game plenty of times since, I believe. But just Gene Upshaw, I don't know why. I thought he was a defensive tackle when I first said his name. Is there someone with a similar name that plays defensive tackle? Kind of looks like one to be honest with you but he is a really 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 good left guard look at his stats now the pass blocking could obviously be a lot better for 92 at least the run blocking is awesome that's what i care about run blocking the pass if you power this card up and you if you power him come up he should have mostly above 90 pass blocking with mid like mid high uh, 90 run blocking and then above 90 strength above 90 awareness this card's gonna be awesome it really comes down to the card and the, the stats on the back of the card obviously does he have good impact blocking does he have good lead blocking does he have good speed um he doesn't look like obese and huge for alignment so i'd imagine he has decent athleticism although i could be i could just be lost under all those massive pads that are gonna be bigger than any human anyways but we have to see i wish his pass blocking was a little higher because like I feel like EA has really been watering down stats as of late because, like, you know what it is? I was thinking about it, right? They don't want to give us too high of overalls this early because they know the second they start hitting 99s and they get up there, the game starts to die. So they've been watering down stats. Like, if you go on the Mudhead page and you look up who has, like, the highest throw under pressure in the game, it's, like, Marcus Allen, uh, like, let's say Herman Moore and uh, Marvin Harrison, those guys. They're literally giving cards fake stats that they'll never use to boost to bolster their overalls they're trying to keep cards very low because they know as long as cards haven't in all 90 thresholds yet people are going to keep buying keep buying keep buying and they know some packs are prominent once we get to all 99s packs start slowing down the game starts slowing down they start running out of ideas so i think that's just what they're going they're out there kind of going with that he has a 26 salary cap and a that's pedometer looking archetype that i also don't know but you guys know that 
Now, did I think we need a left guard in the game? I do think we did. Bruce Matthews is great, but he could use an upgrade. Well, I'd want to pick this card up. Probably not yet. I'd probably wait some time on this card because obviously 92 overalls right now are going for like 450k. So it'll probably be at least 400k for at least another week or so. So make sure you're checking that out. Now let's head over to the next one, which is Ty Law. Pretty cool card art. Ty Law always has cool card art, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just the Patriots colors. Now, he has a band-aid looking archetype. You guys probably know what that is, but I'm not gonna know. He's got 41 salary cap. Now, the issue with Ty Law, I mean, he's a little bit on the smaller side, but he is a cornerback, so you can't really complain too much. He's got 89 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility, 87 jumping, 90 play rank, 89 man, 89 zone, 90 press. So everyone's the, the criticism behind Ty Law right now is that everyone's complaining that he's a, he's a money grab. And you know what? He kind of is. So if you didn't have Ty Law, people are going to who are Ty Law fans probably want Ty Law, right? Now, look at his stats closely. What do they scream to you? 89, 89. 89 89 89 he has five 89s what do i always preach on this channel hitting the, like that 90 threshold this card screams buy me for 500k then buy my power up invest 200,000 000 uh, coins worth of training into it spend all these coins buy packs and get these coins so you can hit threshold that's what this card is it's, like typically whenever you have a card that's slightly below 90 a lot of people have that craving so like they don't care how many coins they spend they want to get you above 90 and juice your card so like if he had above 90 stats you wouldn't really be too concerned but because he does not have above 90 stats that pretty much makes you ambitious to want to go ahead and get him up to a 90 now would i personally do it i don't know i mean ty is great and all but if you really compare stats to like Jalen ramsey pat pete and all them they're more athletic and they have they all have threshold stuff already and i think i think that the better options ty law is very well rounded though he can do everything and has athleticism but i feel like Jalen. i'd rather have like a Jalen pat p denzel ward combo or like a Jalen dion denzel ward something like that along those lines at least now like i said this kind of looks like a money grab i, I understand where they're coming from although power up he would be a monster every style would be above a 90 but that's kind of what they're going for and then obviously other people have their Ty Laws already. But this card would be like a 93 powered up. With lockdown everything, you might hit like a 94. So this card would be really, probably be crazy to be honest with you guys. But I don't think that'd be my top option at cornerback just because the 89 speed will be falling behind. If you really think about it, because I don't think he'll get many upgrades for quite a while. So you're going to be stuck with that 89 speed for a while or 90 if you power him up. When guys like Pat Pete and stuff, I think are faster off the rip. And they don't have to deal with any speed issues because they'll be getting more upgrades throughout the year. Well, let's head on over to the Madden screen. I think I covered the majority of the Legend stuff I need to cover. All right, so we're back in the Madden screen, guys. Now, real quick, as you guys know, on Legend Saturday, that does introduce some new Legend packs. I like to give this advice every week for all you pack buyers. I'm not typically one of them, guys, but don't don't think I won't be. Honestly, next year, if YouTube's going well, I might start opening up, like, weekly packs and, like, promo. I might open up a bundle with this Fantasy Legend Fantasy video every Saturday. It all really depends on how things are going, but... Things are trending in the right direction, so don't don't think this will never be a pack channel. I, I'll, I'll get to that point. Most likely next year. This is my first year, but when um, when 10:30 hits, there will be a Legend Fantasy bundle of eight and a Legend Fantasy bundle of five, and then so this is like the single rippers. So like I always tell you guys, the eight bundle costs like however many points, and you get eight packs and one topper. The five bundle costs the same points to buy two of them as the eight bundle. So it's essentially, you can get ten packs. By buying two five bundles for the same price as eight packs so remember the bundle the uh the five bundles are the better more and it's cheaper slightly cheaper so the, the five bundles are cheaper to get 10 packs than eight packs which is crazy right but the eight pack the eight bundle comes with a bundle topper which i think is done by EA. it should be that if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars or whatever in one shot you should get the 10 packs and a, and a topper they, they should like entice you know instead what they do is they make it so that the, pretty much it comes down to would you rather save like five dollars for three or five dollars and get two extra packs that's what it is it's either topper or two extra legend fantasy packs and what was it again two extra fantasy packs and like five dollars so that comes down to you on whether or not you guys feel that's a worthy save do you guys think that that's worthwhile um not i'm not really much, i'm not much of a fan of know enough about the odds but it comes down to would you rather have an 86 plus or two fantasy bundle extra like two extra fantasy packs i don't know what do you think what do you think is the better value there that's on you guys but that pretty much wraps up this video guys I got the coin stack up. I got a lot of stuff up right now. I'm looking to buy some players. Although, I'm probably going to end up just waiting. I'm, I want some Mutt 10 players. I'm going to have to wait for the Redux cards. I got to pick up Dion at minimum. Like, if I pick up no one, I got to at least pick up Dion. I need him on the team. So, that's why I haven't bought anyone else. I'm going to get Dion. I'm going to get Jalen Ramsey. And I'm probably going to go for, like, Pat Pete. But that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to down below. Come join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell, boys. And if you haven't already, comment down below what you think of Gene Upshaw and Ty Law. I'm frankly a big fan of both of them. I'm just not sure who I pick up. Probably Gene Upshaw's a pickup. 
And also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to smash that like button, boys. Best way to show support, all the OG Lola supporters. Keep smashing that like button. You guys have been killing it lately. Thank you so much for all the support. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.